Um, but yeah, it, it is what it is. And on to more bad news for the comic book movie world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ezra Miller refusing to be a fucking functioning member of society. So he has been arrested now. Oh, has he? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I think he's been released again, but like he he did get, actually get arrested. I don't know how aware of the situation you are, and I'm not saying I have all the facts. So please don't take my word as gospel. If you're listening to this, make sure you do your own reading. This is my understanding of the situation. He was in Hawaii. He was having lots of parties. And the police had been called out like four nights in a row, multiple times each night, for these parties getting out of hand and Ezra being a bit of a handful. Mm-hmm. And then they basically said, you're not throwing any more parties, pack it the fuck in. Mm-hmm. So that sounds like he's gone out to clubs and bars and stuff and caused just as many, if not more, problems leading to fights. At which point he did get arrested and put essentially like the drunk tank or whatever Americans call it. I don't think he's been charged with anything other than maybe disorderly conduct, which I imagine is just fine. Yeah. But the larger repercussions of this are reports are now getting leaked from the set of the Flash film that apparently he was a handful and was having multiple meltdowns a day on set. And they're also working out do they delay the Flash film even further so they can try and film some stuff to replace him as the Flash are they getting rid of him do they try and find a way to keep him they need to meet with him to work out what's going on with him I think based on what I've read it seems clear that yes his behaviour is obviously unacceptable but maybe there's more going on than just bad behaviour in the sense of maybe he's struggling. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so not so much he thinks he can do what he wants, but like he's got mental health issues playing a part in this, which obviously doesn't make anything acceptable, but it changes how it needs to be handled. Yeah. Um, If it's a mental health issue, he needs to be given help. and People suffer with stuff, people need help with stuff, if that's the case, find a way to help him. If this is purely he thinks he's above the rules and can do whatever the fuck he wants, that's obviously a very different situation. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, and all of this news broke on a night that should have been amazing for him. Because Zack Schneider's Justice League won the fan vote for the most cheerworthy moment in a film at the Oscars, which was his flash um, turning back time scene. So, like, that should have been a night that was just a really happy time for him. And it was actually the end of a five-day spree where he was terrorising Hawaii. Yeah, not, not a great period for him at the moment. Do you know what I mean? If it was a case of, and again, this doesn't make it acceptable, but if nothing had happened the previous four nights and he was out on the town and he was celebrating the Oscar win, and things got a little bit of out of control. You can almost go, okay, let's see how he handles this. This is a one-time event at, in the Blue Moon. On the night he's won an Oscar, he probably just celebrated a bit too hard. But it wasn't. Yeah. And I that, think... I think, is the big concerning part. They definitely... Like... DC and all Warner Bros. not... They need to address it in some sense. There's because... definitely a culture issue with Warner Brothers films, with all of the complaints and stuff that have come from people who've worked on their films in the last five years. Yeah, they don't seem to be hiring the best personalities, should we say. Yeah. And if this is like not a bigger issue with Ezra and it is just him as a person, like this is how he chooses to act. It's like this is underheard. 
It's just... Mm-hmm. It's a problem. Yeah. Something needs to be addressed, unchanged, and dealt with properly. But yeah. Otherwise, like, fans are going to keep kicking off. Yeah, I mean, fans were already saying Grant Gustin's been nothing but a shining star as a person within this kind of community. He was brilliant in The Flash. A lot of people were upset the first time he got overlooked. Now they're going, the guy you did cast as being an arsehole, give Grant his chance on the big screen. Which, again, I don't think anyone would be upset about. Grant's no. brilliant as The Flash. But well, we've talked about it, like, there's they were primed to take the TV shows and turn it into a sort of cinematic universe and they just messed that trick. So. Um, 